Welcome to Fraser 365. Over the next several days, we're going to be hearing from some of our mission partners about how they heard their call into mission work and what they're doing today. We hope, as you listen to each day, that you'll be asking God to reveal where He may be calling you to work in ministry and mission. Today's story is from Carrie Webb, who works with Youth with a Mission in Europe, as she answers the question, how were you called into the mission field? Hi, my name is Carrie Webb, and I'm a missionary with Youth with a Mission, or YWAM, and I'm based in Europe. And the way that I knew that God was calling me into the mission field, it actually wasn't really um, clear for a long time. Uh, I remember being uh, in university at UWF, University of West Florida, and I think I had about a year left of school um, before getting my degree. And I was really struggling because I just, I had no vision for what my future was supposed to be. I had no idea what I was supposed to do with my life, what God was wanting me to do with my life. Um, I, I liked what I was studying, but um, everything that I thought I might do just didn't seem to quite fit right. I just couldn't really see myself doing it as a career. Something just wasn't fitting right. Um, until one night uh, at my church in Pace, Florida, Grace Methodist Church, they had a couple come who um, had just sold everything and were moving to Colombia to be full-time missionaries. And while I was listening to them share their story and their heart, it just kind of clicked in me uh, that this this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This feels right. This feels like what I'm supposed to commit to is a, a career of missions um, that I'm, yeah, that I'm to, to become a missionary. And I, as I was sitting there, I was praying and asking God, where, but where do you want me to go? Because I don't feel called to Colombia. I don't feel um, called there. And I really felt clearly that God was asking me to go to Scotland. And I thought, that's really weird, because who goes to Scotland as a missionary? Um, and this was, you know, 20-something years ago. And I had a friend in that same service, and we found each other when it was over. And we were talking about how we both really felt that God was speaking to us about being a missionary, a career missionary. And I was like, well, what, what country are you thinking of going to? And she said, Scotland. And I said, what? <laughs> that's insane. Who thinks of Scotland to be a missionary? But that's exactly what I thought too. So it must be God because who does that? And so we started researching um, how to be a missionary in Scotland and we found that YWAM had an operating location there. And we went, after we graduated, we went to um, the discipleship training school, which is the kind of the training program for full-time work in YWAM. And that was a nine-month school for us. And it really solidified for both of us that, yes, God was asking us to commit our life to the mission field, to being a missionary that goes um, out into the world. And um, I had a, a, about a five-year delay between that training school and going back into full-time missions. Uh, that was really actually a helpful and an, an educational training ground five years. And now I'm starting my 14th year in the missions, in missions. So... Yeah, I think, so. I think it's sticking. So <laughs> uh, that's, that's kind of my journey of being called to the mission field. 